Now we'll take a minute to talk about cap treatment on a stack component. Now normally there's either a point or a line or something that converges all of the points and closes it off so that it's a watertight component and you can run your analyses on it. But if for whatever reason you want to have an open section on your component, let's say a circle. Now you can obviously see inside this part and it's not watertight anymore. Well, you can go to the trouble of adding a point or creating a second cross section so that it's closed off. Or if you like, you can come to your tip treatment, change the nose cap to flat, and then it's watertight again. Now you'll notice that this surface is a little bit different than if we had a point. So if this is a point, all of these are even and they converge to a singular spot. When we open this back up, this is a cap. So it takes these feature lines crosses them, and then it lofts the cap tessellation in between these points in an arc. So if we come to design and start to increase our cap tessellation, you can see that we can make this as fine as we like, and it does nothing whatsoever for our W spacing here. So we can come in and make this, say, round. And you can see that all these points are, again, converging on this spot, but it allows you to loft these points around and give it a little bit more of an interesting shape. Now you can also do this for the trailing edge or the tail. So if we were to come back to the end cross section, change this one to a circle, open that up and change the tail cap to edge, let's say. So edge is just a different type of cap treatment. But again, you can see that all these points and lines are being converged into a single point on the top and bottom. So that's how you can apply caps to a stack component.